come back to the book of Proverbs, chapter 27, verse 12. A prudent person foresees danger and takes precaution. The simpleton goes blindly on and suffers the consequences. I meet so many people today that when you begin to talk to them about thinking through problems, thinking through dangers, thinking through difficulties, thinking ahead, I've been rebuked and said, Pastor Summer, you don't have faith. Excuse me? That's not faith, Pastor. That's the, in the name of Jesus, that's not my confession. And I look at people and go, you know what? I've been teaching the principles of faith and confession since before you were born. Faith and confession is not naivety. Faith and confession faces the fact. Abraham faced the fact that his body was as good as did and still chose to believe. But having faith in God doesn't mean that you don't face facts. Now, a prudent person here foresees danger and takes precautions. For instance, uh, they say that they're going to be lifting the um, uh, value-added tax on properties below 3.1 million. Right now, if you buy a condo or a house and lot, I'm told, less than 3.1, there's no VAT, so it's 12% cheaper. But I'm told in three years, that VAT will be instituted on those properties. Well, now, if you're wanting to buy lower cost housing, you need to understand that now is the time to buy. You don't, you don't wait. You know, anytime you, you see danger, if you see there's a flood coming, you don't stand there in your house and say, in the name of Jesus, I confess that my house is not going to be flooded. Well, no. If you live in a low-lying area, you either move or, like one of our members did, they built their house way up in the air. I mean, they, they literally backfilled their property and built their house very high, and the floodwaters never come in. Now, now, brothers and sisters, each one of us in life has to recognize that faith does not mean that, you know, we, we close our eyes and live in this la-la land where we think there's no danger. Faith sees what it is. Faith sees the future. Faith looks ahead like a prudent person and sees danger and takes refuge. So let's get the naivety out of faith and understand faith does not lack wisdom.